I can assure you that being on that plane crash. An old transport plane crashed in the Andes Mountains. 45 persons were aboard, given up for dead. Their desperation for survival turned them into cannibals. Had you been there, you would have done the same thing. Most of the boys were between 19, 21, 22. They had no idea that this airplane was flying right into the heart of the Andes. We were crashing. Downhill at 200 miles an hour. People screaming, people dying. It was a nightmare. And then there is silence. By the morning, five people have died. You felt the cold by the pain in your bones. There were no plants, there were no animals. I mean, it truly felt like living on the moon. Nobody can survive there. It was completely up to them to save themselves. They were starving. Hunger overcomes any religion or thought or moral thing that you can think of. Nobody was coming to help them, nobody. The only thing we have there to eat was the bodies of our friends. 72 days enduring the unimaginable. This is a death trap. If we stay here, we will die here. Their unbelievable journey through the mountains in search of salvation, and then... Suddenly, in the middle of the night, somebody was hugging me and was crying, and he was telling me, you were right, he's alive. She just jumped on me, and she was crazy of happiness. What a beautiful moment in my life. Now, 50 years after the crash, the story more powerful than ever. All new, emotional, revealing interviews. The decision was for living or dying. Giving your life for your friend. There's nothing more beautiful than that. Prisoners of the snow. We trusted each other. We fought for each other. It's a miracle. Monday night, May 22nd at 9, 8 central on ABC and stream on Hulu.